Legion Season 2 Episode 6 Thought. This episode is called Chapter 14. And yeah, I think the IMDb plot summary for this episode covers it quite well. David's mind explores possible lives where he made different choices. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything X Men leading up to and including this episode. The uh, episode is rated TVMA, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. And. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that the. The billionaire David does not get explained right away. And see the the tenderness of I believe that's an old a senior freaking citizen Sid taking care of senior David. And yeah, um, a lot to love about the the office bit. You know, first David intercepts the the thoughts of one guy who is like fantasizing about having sex with one of the women working there. I guess he wishes he was on the show Boss. And yeah, as you know, right before the the signing of the the document by by Laura, you know, he picks up that they're they're thinking about problems and so he you know he tells her don't sign they're not there's something they're not telling you something like that and yeah you know she hears him out he proves his power and I love that when she goes back she pretends like he doesn't like like she doesn't believe David and that gets them to lower their guard just enough that you know one of them you know, he's, he's caught off guard, and David, yeah, intercepts his thought, and, and they're like, you know, and, and said, you know, three, oh, two, you know, just, yeah, fantastic. And, and, yeah, it's no wonder that one eventually ends up rich. And, let's see, yeah, and, and... The David that's stalking dairy, or the dairy vid, you know, he, he has to take his medication. Amy knows he sometimes doesn't, so she calls and asks him <clears throat> to take it while, you know, on the phone. And then he gets yelled at by his, you know, his boss, who, you know, maybe doesn't know that David has mental issues because the, there's sadly a lot of discrimination including with you know hiring when it comes to mental health patients yeah uh, and the you know that yeah one option is he simply doesn't know another option is he doesn't care you know this is you know you could do that on your break if he's lucky enough to get a break I gotta say I kept thinking that the the David who who looks pretty messed up. I'm I'm thinking this is a David who's done a lot of drugs. He's kind of got meth face, you know. Tweaker David, Tweevid. You know, I kept thinking any second now there's gonna be an employee who's gonna throw him out for for putting. He's just putting food on the table, you know. But yeah, and I will say. I definitely thought, you know, once he mentions, you know, I, I could be married with 2.3 kids, I kept expecting for the show to actually, the literal mindedness of my mind would really have appreciated if there was a little bit of the, the body horror of the show showing what, zero po what a 0 0.3 kid would look like. I know it's a statistical term. It means something along the lines of every three couples has three kids, the rest only have two, and that's just how you know you say it. It just still sounds really, yeah. It's 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 off-putting to me to talk about people with with decimal points like that, even though I understand. Let's see. 
I adore the the mouse dancing to the music. That yeah. I work in an office. I I I've never hallucinated a dancing animal. But I can I can understand, you know, no, I love my job. And let's see. Um, yeah, um, we get the most overt, and I'm here for it, reference to Clockwork Orange. Like, straight up, they recreate, you know, the, the, by the end, the scene changes. But for the first chunk of it, like, I'm not sure they even changed a single line. I think every scene, it's, it's been maybe a year since I last watched Clockwork Orange, so I don't remember, I, I you know, years and years ago. I remember that movie like word for word, but no longer. But yeah, um, it really like you know, yeah, just fantastic work. And yeah, you know, near the end he fights back using his powers and like just completely destroys them. All that's left is the the shadows of where they stood like you know Pompeii or so well I guess Pompeii had the encased in ash people but oh wait no yeah I'm thinking of like a nuclear explosion there's there's yeah and Yeah, and, and billionaire David, David Trump, is like, well, Trump's no longer that rich, we now know. And he's about to have to sell stuff to finally have to pay for the crimes he's been committing for his entire adult life. So, let's see, but, but yeah, um, this David has become quite the, the jerk. <clears throat> you know, it's one thing to, like, to denying the house, one can understand, but, you know, making her, her nose bleed is, is uh, yeah. Um, I don't love that they use a female character to do it, but it is absolutely true that some people, you know, will, will cheat on their partner and then get upset at their partner when their partner also starts to cheat. Even, you know, it's, it's one of those things, like, as a, as a general rule, we shouldn't judge someone else for doing something that we think it's okay for us to do. Like, there's obviously some exceptions, but, you know, this kind of thing, it's fairly even. And, and yeah, um, the David that was, um, yeah, Clockwork Orange David, Dorangevid. You know, the, all that the division saw was that he, he killed people and he hurt, you know, they don't think about if maybe he, you know, was just defending himself, which we, the audience, know. And the, yeah, um, uh, yeah, you know, they, they attack him again. I will say it's very clever to use a, a drone that emits a high-pitched noise to, you know, mess with a, a psychic. And Amber Mithunder gets her most badass, and that's saying a lot, moment on the show so far, when she slices Dorange in half. That was, yeah, holy crap. And see, yeah, um, the the scene of the arrest, I think, has the potential to open a lot of people's eyes about police interaction with the the mentally ill. You know, like we understand exactly why he's getting so anxious, but the the cops don't understand Let's see. and 
yeah, and we get some some clips from the the David we know as he's going into to Clockworks and some of his experiences, and the episode ends. I kind of love that this episode is something that, like, I could show this episode to someone who hasn't watched anything else of the show, and they would they wouldn't get as much out of it, but they'd be able to understand it and get something out of it. You know, it's it's pretty cool when shows do that. You know, this is the fourteenth episode. The fact that every episode is titled chapter and then the number that it is makes counting that very nice and easy. So MDB trivia. Let's see. Um, hmm. While David is getting coffee for his boss in the office building, behind him is a logo of a D with three bars inside of it. Obviously a reference to Division 3. I also quite liked Billionaire David said, you know, no more Division. And, you know, he talks about the, the Tower of Babel. And and you know the the way that sometimes when someone seems extraordinary they are treated as uh, you know a, what was it sent by God I think was the word he used the phrasing he used and oh huh, I missed the Wilhelm scream was appeared twenty nine minutes into the episode and. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and and someone pointed out, you know, the the episode contains a cover of the song Superman, which is DC, and then this is Marvel. And right, and and someone actually pointed out in the connections, the scene where the punks beat up the old man in the tunnel is almost shot for shot homage to Clockwork Orange. It's true. Like I think, other than the fact that you can't see the droogs, the the faces of Alex and the droogs, yeah, it's it's. Very, very exact. And yeah, um, I am gonna try to do an episode tomorrow. I can't promise that I will be able to, but yeah, um, 